Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. How's everybody doing today? Um, when you come rolling in, just give me a shout out. Say hello. Um, if you happen to be with me for the very first time, my name's Kelly Weiler. I'm the owner of Girl Upcycled Studio. We're located in Ohio in a little town called Sainsville, about an hour east of Columbus. Um, we are currently still just kind of operating online right now and curbside pickup. So that's what we're kind of doing right now throughout the quarantine. Um, I thought I would come live. I know I left you guys yesterday working on an intuitive piece and I was talking to you about um, how you can find different um, different images and things like that in your painting. And this is kind of what we found yesterday. And I just kind of wanted to show you all where I was on it and uh, let you see the progress and maybe work on it a little bit more. I feel like I'm getting really close to being done. Um, let me see if I, I know there's comments, but I can't, there they are. Oh, hi, Suzanne and Shelly and Sharon, Teresa, hello, hello. Um, I am doing live over on my YouTube channel, really, really trying to um, make sure that I am doing that on a regular basis. And in fact, I just spoke to my husband and my daughter this morning about going live. I want to try to do live once a day for 30 days is what I'm going to try to do. Um, what I think I'm going to try to do is go live every day at 2 o'clock, and that'll be Eastern time. So um, if all goes well, unless there's something that happens or, you know, but um, that's something I've never done before is do live every day, and that was something that um, a friend had challenged uh, me and some other people to do so I'm like well, let's just give it a try so um, so I don't know what it'll be every single day I may be doing a lot of canvas art um, I'm really trying to step up my art production right now so when I'm painting I'll just come live and let you all watch and ask questions um, and I will be throwing in quite a bit of DIY products and projects um, like I have a lamp that I'm going to redo and um, using the stamps, using the DIY products and that sort of thing. So it should be fun. We're going to, we're going to, I don't know. If I get organized, I'll have a list of what it will be. Yeah, I know, right, Christine? I think so too. Hi, Heather. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to work. And let me give you guys a close-up because if you missed yesterday's painting, you can find that on my YouTube channel. And we did a lot of mark making on this. I have um, three days worth of work on this so far. So we started this in my Creators Club. You can tell if I look, if I take you up really, really close, you can kind of see some of the mark makings that we created. And you can tell how it really brings out a lot of interest so that you see that close up. You can see a lot of vibrancy from afar, but you see a lot of interest as you come up close and um, look at the artwork. So I'm, I'm kind of really liking that part of the whole mark making. Um, so right now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna add a little more of the DIY golden, no, Pennies from Heaven, which is back behind all of you. I'm going to use a little bit more of that. Some of it was got covered up. Thank you, Suzanne. And if you have any, any questions about it, just give me a yell. Um, if you did miss that from yesterday, you'll want to make sure that you check that out. it does kind of I did a lot of did a lot of walking through for people that possibly are doing this for the first time but 
but it's been a lot of fun working on and I'm, I'm, I'm real happy with the results. It's really funny because I don't do a lot of um, sea life type painting. So it's really kind of funny that it just came out. Maybe I'm longing for a trip to the beach, which probably many of you are, and we're not probably supposed to be going right now. <laughs> so. And I really, really enjoy the metallics over top of the orange and the yellows. I think they kind of gives it a little extra pop. Thanks, Christine. I'm not sure what we will name this guy yet. Hard to tell. Let's see. It's been a lot of fun. I'm loving all the color. It just um, it just worked out. Um, any questions? I think I missed something. Can y'all see very well too? Let me see if I can. Get just a little bit closer, maybe, and over to the side just a bit. There we go. How about that. Tons and tons of detail in this little guy. And I am still looking back at the monitor a lot while I'm working on this. I need a little pinch of orange, just a little touch. Maybe I'll use my pastels. I've got oil pastels that I'm using. Thank you so much for spreading this out. I really appreciate that. So you can tell the pastels are really giving it a little bit of vibrancy um, and just like that really bold accent pops. They feel Kind of remind you of crayons in a way. The feel of them. And you can mix white in with it, the pastels. If you want to mix your colors, it's a good way of doing it. So you do want to do this on a dry canvas. If you're using the pastels. And I am using this right along with all of my paints as well, all of my DIY paints. I really need to get another support for this so I'm going to continue using it as an easel. I keep looking at easels and I'm kind of like, I don't know if I really need one. I mean, 
I could use, I know I would use it, but damn. If I'm just. It's kind of fun just using the door, too. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I could, if I wanted to get one and I didn't want it here, I could just take it at home. I am planning on setting up a little bit of a studio back at home, too. Got it started a little bit. But the thing is, my internet is horrible at home, so I really can't share too much with you other than other than maybe just uh, photos. I feel like his little face and nose needs brightened up just a little bit. You love using oil pastels. Easels are expensive. Um, well, some of them, I mean, there's, you can get some for like a couple hundred bucks. I mean, I don't know. It, I don't know. I might. I, I keep looking at them and then I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I need it. Okay, I'm going to step back behind, grab my coffee. This is kind of my routine. Grab my little drink and then I step back behind and kind of look at it from a distance. Let's use, no, that's not bad. Um, Teresa, I think, I think they're saying like the 15th that we could reopen, but I mean, I've just been doing business selling online and doing curbside. So people have been coming and picking up their stuff throughout this whole thing. So, I mean, there really is nobody here. <laughs> I mean, it's just, a, it's a, it's an art studio. It's not like, you know, it's not like going in Lowe's or, and they're all open. So I'm assuming that, I'm assuming I'm okay to do that. Okay. I have been. I mean, you know, people are at home and they need, have projects and things that they want to do. So let's see. I need a really step Maybe this one will work. See, and find out I've got my just kind of my blending brush, but I kind of want to make some splashes. Two brush is really good for this. Traces are something you need. I just got all of my DIY paint products and gang, and I do have the, I do have the, um, if you look up on the, on the picture there, I've got it, the link. Just a little bit more. Maybe, maybe I should spray it. I've got all these little, oh, you know what? I think my sprayer's not working. Let the paint clog it up. OMG. 
Um, Teresa, I'm an hour and 20 minutes away. Wait a minute. After being in lockdown, I'm ready for a road trip. Girl, I'm telling you what. Stock in my website. That's what it's there for, girly. You need help, let me know. And yeah, back to the the easel. Yeah, they, they have them pretty inexpensively now. So, I don't know. This is not going to work. Okay, hold on, gang. Let's get back to this and see what this does. Had a lot of fun drips going on with this earlier. What's everybody getting into today? I'm not too concerned if I don't, you know, if something, if I don't like something, I'll just just go back over. This kind of gives it a lot of movement though by putting these little runs in here. I'll see if I can give you a close-up of that while it's running. Oh no, don't even worry about that, Michelle. Like I said, it was impromptu. So this is, I just put those drips in there. I think I'm probably going to have to advertise this painting. Um, uh, either on the east or the west coast or somewhere, maybe south, Florida, um, because we are, <laughs> we're all rivers here. <laughs> so, but I think the drips really give it that a little extra movement and just that drippiness that it would have uh, in the water, right? I am liking the white that I put in, so I need to figure out a better way to put some more white in there. Um, anybody doing anything for tomorrow? Tomorrow's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everybody, to all the mothers out there. Anybody doing anything? Hopefully you're able to Get out and about a little bit. Oh, maybe this one will work. This one might work. Okay, let's wet it down a little bit. Hi, Stacy. Jennifer. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. Okay, I'm going to dip into my white paint and see if I can get some splatters going. Here we go. That's better. That's the stuff. That's the stuff we needed right there. Second time I dropped that, huh, guys? So the white on it is really giving it a little bit of like water bubbly water kind of a look, right? So you can have a lot of fun with that.
<laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Oh, thanks, Stacy. You know, it's Mother's Day. Does anybody feel like it's just another day? <laughs> Especially with this whole, all this stuff going on. Oh yeah, I really like the white that I'm adding. Really helped a lot. You guys probably can't see it. You can see all the white that I just added. Some nice little splashes. Just kind of adds, adds to it, like they're little bubbles. Because I knew it needed something else, but it also, I didn't want to take away from it. All right, so seeing a few things I want to change. Um, I do think I'm going to try to go live every day at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try it for at least 30 days, see how it goes. So if you notice, I'm kind of blending some of those lines that I put in with the dropper. I'm not liking all of it, so I'm going to go back in and cover some of it up. Let's see, I think I want to do, um, I need like mermaid tail. That's what I need. Let me see. Of course, I need mermaid tail. Um, let's see seeing it. Hold on, momento. Turn it. Okay, hold on. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see if it's. Um, I will be selling this. Yep. So. I don't think it's going to be that much longer. I'm really close to being done. So I'm probably going to have to promote this, um, like I said, over like on the East Coast or the West Coast or um, South, like Florida, Texas, maybe somewhere near the water, I would say. Okay, I really need mermaid tail, so I'll be right back. I got to find it. All right, guys, so I really, oh, Lord, Lord, you guys, it was so quiet. It was right here the whole time. Almost opened a new one up. Don't you hate it? I've done that so many times. Okay, let me see. Look at that. That's mermaid tail. Beautiful, beautiful, um, just the perfect deep, kind of deep turquoise color. It was right there the whole time hiding from me. 
Okay. I, I usually have them in these bottles, and uh, I need. I'm getting ready to replace all my bottles. Pretty soon. to come through. Love the colors. Thanks, Tanya. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he's a he's a happy little guy. What what should I call this piece? Hey, Renee. Um, what size is this? Oh Lord. It is a I'll have to look back on my, I'll have to either measure it or look back because I can't remember what I started with. My mind's mush today, you guys. I'm sitting here trying to drink some coffee. <laughs> I was up late painting last night. All right, so, and I think I want to whip this down. See where it got a little bit muddy right here. I'm going to just wipe that off. That is the good thing about when you use the DIY paint. I've got layers of acrylic underneath it. I got my DIY paint a little bit over top of it and it just wiped right off. So where it got a little bit muddy, just wiped it off. Um, there's a couple of areas that I wanted to kind of fix up a little bit. All right. Um, Ocean Beauty. I like that. And if you need, I can go, I can go measure it for you if you need to know. I can't remember off the top of my head. And I, I use so many different um, sizes. I don't want to tell you wrong. And mostly what I'm doing right now is just kind of detailing in these little areas. Um, I'm going to go through and detail his eyes here in a little bit. Um, I think his little nose needs a little extra pop. Just the little, little tip of his nose. That's better. So we have lots and lots of color. So I think this will be so, this will be perfect in, you know, a seaside home or somebody that, you know, is on the ocean. I think it's will be perfect for someone like that. You go back into the mermaid tail. Um, lots and lots of these beautiful colors from the DIY company in here. the owner of the company she lives on the ocean so her colors are and the names of them are very reminiscent of ocean life and playfulness and that sort of thing so You can't see it. I may add a little, little more metallic to it. It's I'm really liking the metallic that I added from the pennies from heaven.
Okay, I need to stand back and look at it for a second. Salt water life. I like that. Let me take a look at it. Let me step back. Yeah, definitely needs some more of the metallic for sure. Add a little white. So they have kind of these um, eyebrows, for lack of a better word, I don't know what they're called, but they kind of look like little eyebrows that pop out, so it's kind of what I'm trying to create. And... Oh, the colors today. Let's get the boho, blue. Hi, Valerie. And Michelle is dropping some links for y'all in there. If you are new to um, the style of painting or this type of paint, She's dropping um, different links for you that you can go see um, the different colors and all that good stuff. That helped a little bit. Okay, more metallic. I have like, if you guys could see, <laughs> dare I even show you. Hello, Andrea. First time watching. How long do you let the paint dry? Um, so the paint dries really, really quick, the DIY paint. Um, so I'm using mostly DIY paint, a little bit of um, golden acrylics for accents um, here and there. Um, but it dries really quick. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just waiting a few minutes, and a lot of times on a painting, I'll work maybe down on the tail while this is drying, and then I'll come back over here and just kind of work my way around a canvas. Um, now, if you're working with paints that are wet, um, like on the first layer or the first two layers, and your paint is really, really wet, I always make sure that I'm just using all of the same um like warm colors or I'm using the cool colors. That way it's not going to muddy up on me. Hi, Marie. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So I think, okay, I wanted to add some more golden um, pennies from heaven, copper, not gold. So copper. And I know you're probably not able to see it, but the the gold metallics are really, really nice for when you are close up and you are able to see it in person. So it's probably not something that the, the camera will pick up too good. But in here, when the light hits it, it's just going to shine. 
It's called the shine. Mm -hmm. We like that. It's very highly pigmented, all of the paints, as well as the metallics that I use. Love the intuitive paintings. Thank you so much. Oh, you use DIY paint, but this is a real cool way to use paint. My husband paints with acrylic and oil, so this will be a cool way to have him do something. Yes, yes, absolutely. And so you already know that, you know, tell him he can get his hands right in here and, you know, really do some cool stuff um, with it. Um, it just has a little bit different quality to it and you can use it along with you know the acrylic so yeah time to give it a try what uh what type of artwork does he do I need to step back and take a peek again. This has evolved so much from yesterday's video. It really has. Yes, I do seal it with the big top. Yep. I'm gonna take a peek. Let me get step back and look. I feel as though this right here. I think I need to soften. I need to soften that edge a little bit. That's what I think I need to do. Let me get the 457. painting all the sides to this one. They don't always do that. But I am painting the sides this time. I'm getting a really fun sides. So the sides of it has a lot of color like the dolphin does and it's not, it's, a, it's 
kind of a little bit brighter. I don't know. I, I may go through and mute it down a little bit. Okay, let me step back. Take a peek. Oh, yeah, that metallic looks good. Mm -hmm. I'm over on this this side now. It's kind of nice. I like to kind of walk all around and see all sides of it. I kind of want to blend this a little, little bit into the background rather than just having it align. I want it to blend just a little bit. I think. I think. I think. So. So the with the. DIY paint. I'm reactivating it. And then I'm starting to blend it. So that is the one thing that you can't do with the acrylics that, that I kind of like. So I can soften my edges up a little bit, um, which is kind of fun. Oh, uh, Stacy, don't envy. Just get your own out and make your make stuff, girl. Make it, girl. You can do this. You can do this. Give it a try. Just give it a try. It's just so much fun. Like I said, I want to soften the edges, especially on the end of this. Uh, I do have a few pieces for sale. I don't have everything up on my website yet as far as my pieces. Um, I, I have pieces sitting around here that I need to um, get put up on the website. Those of you that are interested. Um, so that is my goal. Put that down. I'll give you a close up in here in a second. I'll kind of show you what I mean by fading out the tail into the background. But you can probably see it pretty well. How many hats do I own? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I used to have a hat collection when I was little, and it covered two whole walls in my bedroom. So this has been an ongoing obsession of mine.
I probably wear the same three or four over and over again, but I do have more than that. Um, That's a good question, though. <laughs> um, let's see. Es Espaco, I cannot paint anymore because of my allergy. Have you tried the DIY paint? Because it's all natural. It's it's made with clay. Um, and there are no VOCs at all in this. It's not just low VOC, but it's absolutely no VOC. There's only nine ingredients in it. So you might want to give it a try. Um, we do sell the eight ounce tubs, the little eight ounce, and they're perfect for artists. Um, so, I mean, even though this is kind of like technically thought of as a furniture paint. It's so beautiful and you can tell how bright it is. Um, so I just started using it for all of my artwork um, because it's it's safe. And I have a lot of allergies myself. So I'm always very careful with what I use. Yeah, there are no smells at all. Did I paint my vest? I did not, but one of my customers, and she's a local artist, her name's Sue Hall. She painted this for me. It's my Christmas gift. Let's see if you guys can see it. It's really cute, right? She makes these and sells them. Okay, I need to take a peek. I'm really, I'm liking it. So let me show you what I did to the tail. So if you look at the bottom of it, okay, you can kind of see, see the copper. Can you guys see that copper? I might even add a little bit more, like maybe up towards the head a little bit. I think it might need some. But down here, you can kind of see how I've blended it off into the water. So I took away the harsh line. So you can see the harsh line here versus it fades out right here. Yeah, it's like it's splashing in the water. Exactly. It's exactly what I was trying to go for. But I feel like, I don't know if it's a he. You think it's a he or a she? But she's come along or he's come along. See, I do feel like, let me see again. Let me look up here. I do have metallic up on the head a little bit, but it's not showing like I want it to. Thank you, Tammy. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. I urge you all to give this a try, though. The intuitive art process is for everybody. Even if you've never tried it before, if you've never painted, this style of painting is for everybody to try, and it's so much fun. If you missed yesterday's live, you'll want to, um, you'll want to go back and, and look at yesterday's and you'll see the progression um, between yesterday and today. It really looks different. I do think it needs a little more metallic. Oh, wait, those are. Don't you think? The metallic is good. It's good stuff, isn't it? Let me just, let's just add a little more. And then if you do try it, let me know. A little bit around the eyes a little bit. Mm 
metallics do look really pretty mixed in with the orange and the yellows. I'm definitely going to go back and watch. Yes. You need to. Thank you, Espago. I hope I'm pronouncing that. Hey, girl. What you up to? Circled up. I haven't talked to you in a while, girly. Been staying out of trouble. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Added a little bit of that. I already got a little carried away on the head, but I will touch it up. You've been working too much. You're still working, huh? <laughs> his nose. I still feel like his nose needs a little something. To detail that a little bit. Something. Something about the nose. Thanks, Vicki. So how many hours are you working, uh, Gail? Are you, I mean, are you, are you working more than just your eight hours? Okay. Something, I need to do something with that note. Let me figure it out. Oh, you're working from home nine hours a day. Oh, wow. Yeah. Goodness. I think I need a different brush as my problem. Let me try. I'm going to try. I have one set of these left to gain. Um, if you've not used this, um, this is from Dion's line. It's called The Edge. And I sell these. I sell these in packs of, gosh, I think there's five brushes in a pack. I have one pack left. I do need to order more, but they're very nice brushes. So I think I'm going to use switch and use this from the Turquoise Iris. Very nice brushes. I do need to get some more ordered has a nice little tip on it that's good for getting these little areas. A 
little bit better. Got a little bit of queen bee that I'm going to mix in here now. Top of some of this. Watch her YouTube video on the, oh, on the tote. Did you see, here, I'll show you what it looks like. I haven't gotten the finished photo up yet, but I added, and I showed the ladies yesterday, but I went ahead and added daisies to it. So I think the daisies really made it pop. That was from two days ago, if you missed that live that video. I did this start to finish and then this will be in the next sale that we have too. Um, so you can look forward to that. Somebody can actually buy it. Um, I think it turned out pretty cute. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, and I'm going to make some more because I think I could do some different little styles. Okay, so right now this, when I look at the painting this pops out at me a little bit and I'm not hating it but I hate that that's the only thing so I might add a little bit of white and I'm using vintage linen and you got to be careful laying in the white not to go um, overboard so I think I'm going to add I'm going to add just a little tiny drop, teeny tiny drop of a sailor, just tiny, maybe. I lied to you, it's not going to come out. There it is. Teeniest, tiniest little drop of a sailor, just so that it's not like stark, stark white. So, I mean, even though it's like almost kind of like a blue, it'll look white on here, believe me. even do this with a knife if you wanted to. Just think about the water is going to be reflecting. Different colors and whatnot. 
not. But just a little bit will do you. You don't have to get too carried away with it. Okay. Don't get carried away. I know, Kristen. She paints is on here. I it just came out. It was an intuitive piece. It's in the Creators Club, so from Tuesday. Let's give you guys a close up. Let's see. So you kind of see all the details that I just laid in there. Yes, Lisa, this is the same as yesterday. <laughs> Looks, it, it turned different, didn't it? So that is what is so um, just kind of intriguing about the whole intuitive process is just, just completely turns out so different compared to how you start. But yeah, this is all those layers kind of show through all of that. Well, you just need to keep practicing, Michelle. The more that you practice, the easier it gets. And you have to kind of, um, you just kind of have to be okay with kind of going with where it wants to go sometimes. So I'm really liking the metallic on it. I think it gives it a, a really extra something. And I'm looking at this color. This is actually um, one of my acrylics. And I do feel like it needs a little bit more of that. I think that's beautiful. It's very deep. And I think it, I just need to add a teeny tiniest, tiniest little touch more of that. Um, which is, which one is that? I think this was ultramarine. I think. Let me check. Yeah. Just add a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of that. You found a puppy, wait a minute, what? Still have my intuitive painting I started with you a year ago and you haven't finished it. It looked like Michael and Jackson. <laughs> and I found a puppy, I remember, I remember that. Yeah, I mean, you know, you just have to keep trying if you really want to. And, and also it's not for everybody. Maybe it's not your jam, you know? That could be too. And, and that's okay too. But I do feel like it's very, I think it's very helpful for people that um, are unsure of their, um, the style that they like, because it gives them permission to explore, you know? And they might not otherwise do that. That kind of makes sense. Okay. Why are you all bundled up? Oh my gosh, girl. It is so cold. We had ice on our deck today. I was not even like, it was, yeah. It was no joke. No joke. Got the heat on and everything. It's just kind of like, really? We don't need this, Lord. We do not need this. 
you want it to be your jam, well then keep trying then. If you because that's really all you need to do is the want for it and the you know, if you have passion to practice doing it, then it will, you know, it will eventually come out. I don't think it needs a ton, but you can tell this color is so, so deep um, that you can literally just use the tiniest bit of it and it'll kind of get, do what you're wanting it to do. It's very vibrant, very, very vibrant. Feeling like I'm pretty happy with it, guys. I'm feeling like it's fun and it's colorful and all the stuff. Um, did I miss something? I don't think I did. Are there any questions? Uh, anything else I can help you with? Just something about the eyeball. I might change the eye a little bit, just a smidgen, but. So the eye looks a little yellow. I think I might change that, but I can do that. Thanks, Vicki. So what did we decide? Did we decide on a name for this guy? Um, did you guys need to know the size of this right now? Or like what? It, I can't remember. He's really colorful though, isn't he? <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. Okay, so anyway guys, if you do have any more questions, I will try to type the size down in the comment section when I get done or in the description on YouTube when I get done. Um, this will be up for sale. Um, I will be um, sealing it. It'll be signed and sealed. I'll, I want to get some good photos of it before it leaves, but wow, it's got a lot of color. So if you are a person that loves the ocean or lives near the ocean, this might be the perfect piece for you. I don't know. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I'm going to try really hard to come live and do either live painting um, artwork with you or DIY projects of some sort um, every day at two o'clock Eastern time for the next 30 days. So I just said this publicly. So now I feel like, oh my gosh, now I have to really like commit to this, right? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Manish French. Thank you so much. Um, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye, everyone.